So it's another video of me on my travels and today I'm at the West Mill Wind Farm and Solar Park and they're doing a bit of a tour today. So this is a community owned um, wind farm and solar park. I think it opened in 2008 and the solar park opened in 2011. I think at the time it was the largest uh, community owned solar park and wind farm in the world but uh, I don't know if that's still the case but anyway there's five turbines here and over 20,000 solar panels so uh, it's going to be an interesting little tour. And this is a little weird because we're actually parked right underneath one of the turbines and like the blades are literally straight above my head it's a very weird experience. I can hear them whooshing around. I mean, they're clearly quite high above my head because I'm not that tall, but yeah, it's a bit scary. So all of these turbines have been given a name and they were named by local Gusty. school children. So yeah, this one's called Gusty Gizmo. I guess we have to go and look out for what the uh, other names are. Of information from the tour guide so far it took 11 years to get planning permission for this solar farm but when they did get planning permission the actual turbines went up in eight days that doesn't include all the electric works all the foundations that's just literally sticking the turbines up but eight days to put it up for 11 years of planning effort So this one is called Spinner X and that is not a diesel generator exhaust obviously, it's a, uh, a cooling vent because there's a transformer inside and lots of electronic equipment and it's uh, basically got to keep itself cool somehow. So this farm can produce six and a half megawatts of power and I think it produces 11 gigawatt hours of energy every year. That's quite a bit but this is quite a small wind farm. If you could imagine what a, a modern massive one could do, it's just, it just could power thousands of homes. That one's called Huff and Puff. So if you've got kids, they give you this little uh, worksheet as well that you can go through. And I know some of the answers to these. Look, so like, this movement turns a something. That's a shaft, isn't it? So we've finished looking at the wind farm now and we're about to go into the solar park. There's 21,500-ish solar panels in here and it produces almost five uh, gigawatt hours of energy a year, something like that. Um, it's quite quite a reasonable size solar farm really. So right behind me are two inverters, they're huge things. I don't know if you can hear that noise, it's quite a high pitched noise so I'm not going to hang around here too long, it is pretty loud. But those are what's converting the, uh, the DC power from the panels into AC energy right now which goes into a transformer that's just there. So this is a pretty good day out actually. It's uh if you're in the Swindon area, which is where this takes place, the, um, the trust that runs this uh, wind and solar farm, they run the tours for free. Uh, they do them several times a year. I'll put a link in the description to their website so you can go and have a look and uh, see when their next one is running. But yeah, you just book on on the website. It's totally free. You've just got to get here. There's plenty of parking. Um, yeah, and it's a good little tour. The guides know what they're talking about and uh, you get to see the turbines and all of these solar panels that I'm walking past right now um, in 
close up detail. So uh, yeah, definitely worth coming here if you get a chance. So um, anyway, time to finish up this video and the usual things of these people here are my channel members. So uh, big thank you to those guys for uh, supporting the channel. If you want to find out more about becoming a channel member and get early access to my videos, then uh, look in the description for a link. And don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to see more from me. Thank you for watching and looking at all these solar panels. Goodbye.